Welcome aboard. Today, we will guide you through the door entry procedures for shipboard firefighting. Door entry procedures are a critical part of every interior fire attack, and it's important to familiarize with the particular challenges and considerations. If you have any questions or remarks, please drop them in the comments below. We will reply as soon as possible. Let's get started. First, approach the watertight door cautiously. Ensure you are wearing appropriate personal protective equipment, including a fire-resistant suit, helmet, gloves, and boots. Make sure to keep a low profile before opening any door. Hot burn gases and flames are lighter than cool air and thus tend to fill the upper part of any compartment. By keeping your profile low, you will be less affected by the heat coming out of the compartment and you will also achieve better visibility. Now, check for any signs of fire or heat on the door. Place the back of your hand near the door to sense heat. Make sure that the palm of your hand faces away from the door. If you feel intense heat or see smoke coming from the door, do not attempt to open it. Report the situation immediately to the on-scene commander. If the door is cool and free from signs of fire, check the door carefully. Pay attention to the specific method of operation, dogging mechanisms, or any potential hazards. Identify the correct door operation method. Most watertight doors can be operated in two ways, the dogging mechanism or the quick action wheel. So-called dogs are locking devices fitted around the door. To open the door, you must unlock all dogs. When you start unlocking the dogs, make sure to control the door with your own body weight to prevent it from slamming open in an uncontrolled way due to the air pressure inside the compartment. Quick action wheels or levers enable you to operate all dogs at the same time by turning the wheel or lever to their open position. Here, too, you must make sure to control the door before unlocking to prevent uncontrolled slamming. Next, slowly open the door while being mindful of your surroundings. Communicate your actions to the on-scene commander using clear and concise voice commands. If the door is heavy or difficult to open, remember that ship movement or firefighting activities may affect its operation. Adjust your approach and adapt to the situation, always prioritizing your safety and the safety of others. Once the door is open, secure it in the open position using the designated securing devices, such as the dogging mechanism or wedges, this ensures the door remains open, facilitating safe passage for crew members and firefighting operations. In case you encounter high temperature conditions or signs of smoke inside the compartment, follow the door cooling procedures before entering. Apply water to the door's surface using a spray nozzle. This helps reduce heat transfer and protects you from potential backdraft or flashover upon entry. After opening the door, follow gas cooling procedures. Apply short bursts of water into the smoke layer under the deck head using a fog nozzle. This action helps reduce the temperature and improves visibility, allowing for safer entry and firefighting operations. Never use a straight stream for gas cooling. When the stream penetrates the smoke layer and hits the superheated deck head, it will vaporize suddenly and push the hot gases down on the firefighters. Make sure to always use a spray or fog stream for gas cooling. Remember, effective communication, coordination, and maintaining situational awareness are crucial throughout the door entry procedure. Work closely with your team and follow established protocols for a safe and successful interior attack during shipboard firefighting. By understanding and practicing these door entry procedures, you are taking an important step toward ensuring the safety of yourself, your fellow crew members, and the ship. Stay prepared, stay vigilant, and always prioritize safety.